Hi students, I am Prashant B. Chandran, Assistant Professor, Autobahl Engineering Department, SNAT. Welcome to a new video. This video is regarding the portions gas tungsten arc welding, GTAW and plasma arc welding. These portions are from our sixth module that is welding in our uh, manufacturing technology. Okay. First of all, gas tungsten arc welding or GTAW. Gas tungsten arc welding or GTAW is an arc welding process where the coalescence is produced by heating the job with an electric arc which is struck between a tungsten electrode and the workpiece. Here no flux is used but the welding is done under the shielding of gases like argon, helium, nitrogen etc. Okay. The process of gas tungsten in a uh, gas tungsten arc welding GTAW is also known as tungsten inert gas welding or TIG welding, TIG, TIG welding. As the electrode is non-consumable, the filler material is provided separately as bare wires here. Okay. While welding thin sheets, filler materials may not be required. The base metal melts and forms the joint automatically. Filler rods are used when welding thicker plates with the edge of preparation. Okay. Filler rods are necessary only for welding thicker plates. Okay. This is a diagram for a gas tungsten arc welding GTAW or TIG. Here the tungsten electrode is positioned at the center of the welding torch. It is, you can see that uh, at the center portion of the welding torch, there is a tungsten electrode. Okay. The shielding gas is applied to the welding torch, welding sound through the um, gas nozzle surrounding the electrode. That is, the shielding gas is also supplied uh, through the welding torch itself. During the welding process, the electrode may get heated up. You, usually, the welding torches are provided with the arrangement for water circulation for cooling also. For cooling purpose, these welding torches are um, arranged with water cooling uh, arrangements. Okay. Then the working. Welding current, gas and water supply are turned on. First of all, the welding current, gas and water supply are turned on. The arc is struck by touching the electrode with a scrap tungsten piece and then broken by increasing arc length. Okay, this is the process. This procedure is repeated twice for warming up the electrode. This procedure is carried out in order to warm the electrode. Finally, an arc is struck between the electrode and the workpiece. Finally, there is, uh, we can see an arc which struck the electrode and the workpiece. Once the arc impinges on the job, there is a work piece, it is melted and a weld pool is developed. The torch is now moved as in the gas welding to continue the welding. At the end of the welding process, arc is broken by increasing the arc length. Both AC and DC machines are used here. DC with straight polarity is preferred for welding of stainless steel nickel, copper and copper alloys. AC or DCRP is, the DCRP means direct current reverse polarity is used for welding magnesium, aluminium and other alloys. Electrodes of tungsten are coated with the thorium or zirconium to increase the current capaci carrying capacity of these electrodes. Okay. Uncoated electrodes are suitable for currents up to 150 ampere while quarter electrons can be used for currents of 220 to 250 amperes. Shielding gases like argon, helium and their mixtures, uh, then argon oxygen mixer and argon he uh, hydrogen mixer etc. are used. GTAW process is being used to weld carbon and alloy elements, stainless steels, heat resisting alloys, refractory alloys, alloys of aluminium, copper, nickel, etc. These are the applications of this GTAW. 
ആൾ ടൈപ്സ് ഓഫ് ജോയിൻസ് ലൈക്ക് ബഡ് ജോയിൻ്റ് ലാബ് ജോയിൻ കോർണർ എഡ്ജ് ആൻഡ് ടി ക്യാൻ ബി മെയ്ഡ് വിത്ത് ദിസ് ജി ടി എ ഡബിൾ ഇ പ്രോസസ് സിൻസ് വി ജോയിൻസ് ആർ യൂസ്ഡ് ഫോർ തിക്നസ് അപ് ടു ടെൻ എം എം ഡബിൾ വി ഈസ് യൂസ്ഡ് ഫോർ ബേസ് മെറ്റൽ തിക്കർ ദാൻ ദിസ് ഓക്കെ ഇറ്റ്സ് ആൾ അബൌട്ട് ദിസ് ഗ്യാസ് ടങ്ക്സൺ ആർക്ക് വെൽഡിംഗ് ജി ടി എ ഡബ്ല്യു ഓർ ടിഗ് വെൽഡിംഗ് ദൻ പ്ലാസ്മ ആർക്ക് വെൽഡിംഗ് വി നോ ദാറ്റ് പ്ലാസ്മ ഇസ് ദ സ്റ്റേറ്റ് ഓഫ് മാറ്റർ പ്രസൻറ്റ് ഇൻ ബിറ്റ്വീൻ ഇലക്ട്രോഡ്സ് ഇൻ എനി ഇലക്ട്രിക് ആർ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് സബ്ടൈൻഡ് വെൻ ദ ഗ്യാസ് ഈസ് പാർഷ്യലി അയണൈസ്ഡ് ടു മേക്ക് ഇറ്റ് എ കണ്ടക്ടർ ഓഫ് ഇലക്ട്രിക് കറണ്ട് പ്ലാസ്മ ആർക്ക് വെൽഡിംഗ് ഈസ് ആൻ ആർക്ക് വെൽഡിംഗ് പ്രോസസ് വെയർ ദ കോളസൻസ് ഈസ് സബ്ടൈൻഡ് ബൈ ദ ഹീറ്റ് ഫ്രം എ കോൺസ്ട്രിക്റ്റ് ടാർക്ക് ബിറ്റ്വീൻ എ ടങ്ക്സൻ ഇലക്ട്രോഡ് ആൻഡ് ദ വർക്ക് പീസ് Inert gas is used for formation of plasma and also as shielding gas. Okay. In order to form the plasma and also as a shielding gas, an inert gas is used here. Filler material may or may not be used. Okay, here, filler mat- uh, material is uh, not a necessary thing but can also be used. But pressure is not employed. Here, there is no ne- uh, necessity for any pressure. this can be seen in this diagram there the nozzle has separate passages for gases for producing plasma and for shielding gas there are two passages one for provide inserting the plasma gas and another one is for uh, providing shielding gas okay surrounding the electrode there is a provision for supply of argon gas at low pressure okay there is also a provision for supply of argon gas at a low pressure the gas will be moving out of the nozzle through the small constricted opening there is an, an, an outer shielding ring from the inner nozzle also though the outer ring has the, the same or different gas is fed at a safe uh, higher pressure this gas comes out through the outer nozzle and acts as shielding gas to protect the welded metal from contaminations okay this is for shielding shielding purpose to initiate the arc in this uh, this type of that is in a plasma arc welding to initiate an arc a low current pilot arc is struck between the tungsten electrode and the nozzle around it okay that is in order to make an arc a low current pilot arc is struck between the tungsten electrode and the uh, nozzle around it this arc ionizes the gas flowing through the inner nozzle and forms the plasma thus the plasma is formed that is this are uh, this uh, arc this pilot arc ionizes the gas flowing through the inner nozzle and uh, thus plasma is formed this plasma gas moving out through the constricted nozzle reaches a very high temperature and helps uh, initiate a welding arc between the electrode and the workpiece plus the welding arc is produced mostly in this plasma arc welding D- dcsp is normally used that is direct current uh, dc direct current straight polarity is normally used with currents of um, in the ranges from 50 to 350 ampere at a low voltage of 27 to 30 volt a typical gas flow rates are 2 to 40 liters per minute with the lower rates of for orifice gas and higher rates for shielding gas okay argon is the commonly used uh, argon is uh, the commonly used to orifice gas is argon and shielding uh, gas also argon is used that is argon is mostly used as both orifice gas and shielding gas because of uh, this uh, argon's inert yeah, property same or different gases are used as orifice gas and shielding gas also in addition to argon helium argon plus hydrogen argon plus helium etc are also used for this process base metals welded by this plasma arc welding are carbon and alloy alloy steels 
stainless steels, copper alloys, titanium alloys, allo aluminum alloys, nickel and cobalt alloys, etc. Depending upon plate thickness, bud joints are prepared as square groove, single or double U and V, etc. In addition, fillet, T and edge wells are also made as per needs. This is all about plasma arc welding. Thank you for watching this video. Have a nice day.